Hello and how are you all? Today we are going to interface 16 cross 2 LCD with PIC 16F877A. Here is the pin configuration of our microcontroller. This chip has total 40 pins and 5 ports. You can use any port to interface LCD but here I am going to use the port C. So let's create a new project in micro C. Type the project name LCD interfacing with PIC 16F877A. Specify the project path and select your chip model from here. Change the clock speed to 20 MHz. Next, next. Make sure to include all libraries and finish it. These all are the libraries used for this chip. This is the library for LCD. So first of all we have to configure LCD connections with our microcontroller chip. Uh, S bit. Hmm, what's this? Save as time. Yeah. Micro C is asking to save the C file. Save it. Let's continue. S bit LCD RS at RC2 bit. Copy and paste this line. And LCD enable is connected to port C third pin. Enable again copy and paste it LCD data pin 4 at port C pin 4 Similarly set data pin 5 6 and 7 to port C respective pins and we are done with module connections Now in the same way we will set pin directions S bit LCD reset direction at C 2 bit and similarly configure all the pins now LCD connections and direction is alright we will initialize LCD and print something in the main body LCD in it is used to initialize the LCD and LCD CMD is used to send commands to LCD like LCD clear always clear the LCD in the beginning before displaying any string because sometimes when LCD initializes it gets some garbage data on the display to write something on LCD we use LCD out function Set the cursor location 1 1 first row and the first column and type any character array in the third parameter. I will type electronics there. Now we are done with the coding part and now try to build the project. Good. Go to the project folder and you will find one hex file there. Save this file we will use it later in our simulation. For simulation, I have software Proteus 8.0. Create a new simulation project. LCD simulation. Default schematic. Uh, finish it. Place the components from here. Pick 16F877A. Double click to edit. 16 cross 2. Uh, this is our LCD Crystal oscillator 22 picofarad capacitor a Resistor And a power source Click OK Now place your components on the sheet Microcontroller LCD here Crystal oscillator Connect the crystal to pin 13 and 14. To balance the oscillations, we will use uh, 22 picofarad capacitors. 
connect the first pin to VPP positive terminal. Now connect the LCD to microcontroller. Check the pin connections that uh, we already assigned in our coding part. LCD reset to RC2 and LCD enable to RC3. And here LCD reset to RC2, LCD enable to RC3, LCD D4 to RC4 and so on. Place a ground terminal and connect the remaining pins to ground. Connect a 10k potentiometer uh, variable resistor to third pin to adjust the LCD contrast. It will not produce any effect in simulation, but on hardware it should be properly connected otherwise you will see a blank display. Now the last thing is to add the hex file that we had generated earlier. You will find this hex file in your micro C project folder. Change the clock speed to 20 megahertz. Click OK and run this project. You will see the text on LCD if it is working properly. And now we will see what if the string on the LCD contains more than 16 characters. Uh, because the LCD we are using has two rows and 16 columns to display the to display the characters. Now add one extra word like subscribe electronics day and yeah please like this video and subscribe my channel because I'm going to upload more good tutorials and if you have any question or any suggestion let me know in the comment section. Build the project and run the simulation again and look at this our half of the string is hidden somewhere here now we want to scroll this text to the left for this we will use for loop i is equal to 0 and i is less than 10 because we have 9 hidden characters i plus plus use the command lcd shift left guys if you double click the library function lcd cmd you will find some more useful commands uh, that will help you in your projects put some delay here so that we will actually see the data is shifting to the left put delay here too uh, after 500 milliseconds, data will start shifting to the left. Build this project and oh, I have not declared the character I. So declare it here and build the project again and it's successfully built. Now run the simulation and see the text scrolling to the left. Download link for the code and the simulation is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.